Hi everyone, it's still me here. As many of us are still working from home, many of you have started to pick up cooking, baking, that sort of stuff. So today we are here to talk about cookbooks. So to start off with, we have the new Mrs. Lee's cookbook. This is an updated version of the cookbook written by Mrs. Lee. Lee Kuan Yew's mother. So as a Peranakan, many of the dishes in this book are dishes that I have tried many times at home. It's very well designed, you know, so with nice pictures. So some of my favorite dishes are like this one, the Bawang Kapiting Soup, which is crab meatball soup, as well as this one, Babi Asam. This one we eat it every Chinese New Year, every big occasion when the family comes over, you know, so yeah. So easy to follow recipes and certainly one that has a lot of heritage in it as well. Next up, we have Wet Market the Table. So this book is a very useful book for those of you who like to try new dishes, new ingredients. This book takes 25 fruits and vegetables that you can find at our local wet market and teaches you how you can implement these ingredients in dishes. So it's very useful where it's sorted by the ingredients. So for example, Volotti beans. It shows you uh, the other names it's known by and the substitutes for it. And then a short write-up about what the ingredient is, you know, and the benefits of it. For example, good for diabetics, you know. And then all sorts of useful inf information like where it's available at, how to select the good ones, how to store it, how to prepare, and how to cook with the ingredient. So some of my favorites in this book are this one. I can honestly say this is the best crispy pork I've tasted in my life. Sometimes when you eat crispy pork outside, the skin is still very, it's crispy but very hard to bite into. This one is so crispy and crunchy and easy to bite into that it tastes... I can't describe the taste. And the sauce that goes with it, the Thai basil dipping sauce, it just makes the whole dish become so good. Can't say anything more about it. And even for those of you who might not be that good at cooking, some of the dishes in here are very easy to follow. For example, this one, you know, where there's no actual cooking involved. It's just raw salmon mixed together with all the different ingredients and served as a very refreshing and unique appetizer. You know, so very different style of cooking. And finally, we have this one. So for this one is if you're more interested in baking and stuff, it's full of desserts, cakes, things you can make in your oven basically. So recently, I just made the pandan chiffon cake from this book. And it was very easy to do. I mean, I got the ingredients done in less than 30 minutes and then you just pop it in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. And my whole family loved it. So if you're in more into desserts, this is one to try as well. All right, that's all for today. Happy cooking. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye.